Hello, I'm Daniel from the Ginting Environmental Consulting. In efforts to inform community gardeners how to improve water use efficiency, we have established a partnership with The Crops, a non-profit organization which administers more than 100 gardeners in 15 community gardens across the city of Lincoln, Nebraska. These efforts are crucial because most of the gardeners use inefficient watering methods such as hand spraying. Some gardeners even use the very inefficient furrow system. These practices commonly cause undesirable soil surface crusting and can also damage plants. Since the 2012 growing season, we have established low pressure drip irrigation demonstrations in seven selected gardens. These efforts have generated many interests and adoptions. Recently, the low pressure drip irrigation system has been installed in all plots of three gardens. Some gardeners even have adopted the same system in his and her backyard garden. Good care and efficient irrigation can make a small plot very productive. Even in a relatively dry place like Lincoln in Nebraska, my 200 square feet plot produces abundant harvest. Now in freezer, this will last until next growing season in 2013. This is the kind of gardening experience we want to share. Produce more and enjoy more with less use of water. Before showing some implementations, let's describe main component of low pressure gravity drip system. These are the main components. High pressure water, pressure conversion unit, and fill distribution system. The pressure conversion unit converts high pressure water such as 40 to 50 psi municipality water to a gravity pressure less than 1 psi. The gravity pressure then connected to the field distribution system which is a network of manifold, lateral, and sublateral and drip line. The first conversion unit uses water barrel, which we have shown how to construct in our other video. In this case, the barrel is manually filled with high pressure water. Water height in the barrel above ground determines gravity pressure of water. Full barrel exerts maximum gravity pressure and maximum flow from the spigot. During watering, as the water in the barrel decreases, the pressure and thus flow also decrease. This is why this system is called falling pressure design. The second conversion unit uses custom-made canister equipped with a, vo a float valve inside. As the plot being watered, the valve inside opens and closes high pressure water as such to maintain water level in the canister. That is why this system is called constant low pressure design. Because the height of the canister can be adjusted, therefore the gravity pressure can be increased or decreased as needed by elevating or lowering the height of this canister on the pole. If used in tandem with the water barrel, then the gravity pressure in the barrel is controlled by this canister. Let's explain about manifold and laterals. To ensure enough water flow, in a very low pressure system less than 2.5 feet or 1 psi, the manifold and lateral lines must have large diameter. It is our experience that 5-8 inch garden hoses and half inch CPVC connectors such as tees and elbows work very well. Remember, this is for a very low pressure, cheap low quality, new or old, used or recycled garden hose is sufficient. Here I explain how to make a simple manifold. First construct a T like this, 
So you take the uh, CPP system and lightly rub it to the edge and then put so and the same thing here put a CPPC cement and and you can make a T like that okay um, and the, sa the same thing with you do with the elbow because you will need an elbow for the end rows so you put a CPPC cement again and and voila for this demonstration sake I don't have to have a cement with me now Using this, then you can connect the uh, hose that you have cut. Now this cut hose should be the same distance as your row spacing. So if your row spacing is about one foot, then you kind of uh, cut the hose about an inch less than one foot because you will have this uh, 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 spacing from the nipples here. So you just connect them. So. You connect the T and the hose. Five eight hose is snug, as you can see, it's very tight. Uh, for low pressure, it's fine. And now you can see this part of the manifold, and you connect another T. And so, with another hose, cut. So you can see now that is a part of a manifold. Now, this is, will be the, the distance of your row spacing. Okay? For the edge, you can use an elbow like this. Put another one so you can see. Do you see this? So it's all. And another end, you can put another elbow. Yeah, this is a manifold ready made, just as simple as this. Now this can go to a, to a lateral, a lateral hose, can go to a lateral hose, or can go directly to a soccer hose, 5.8 soccer hose, that fits snugly to one of this. Okay, one of these, however, has to go to the barrel or to the low pressure system. So one of them has to go there as a water source. There you go. Or you can add another T here and cut here, or you can put a T here in the end. So really, really very flexible how you can do the manifold. So there are so many possibilities that you can use with manifolds, lateral lines, and drip lines. The end of lateral hose or drip lines can be plugged by double kinking. Fold the line one time and two times and using a zip tie, press hard and lock. Many kinds of drip lines are commercially available. Make yourselfers also can make them by drilling small holes on hoses or tubes. Commonly available in local stores are 5-8 inch porous soccer hose, one quarter or one half inch polyline with built-in meters, and drip tape with built-in slits. To avoid unnecessary expense for end plugs, end of these drip lines can be plugged by double kinking with zip tie. Let's tour some of the application of gravity drip system. The first one is falling pressure design. Here the pressure conversion unit is a water barrel which needs manual refills for each irrigation. After each refill the barrel lid is kept on to avoid airborne particulate entering the barrel and plug the uh, drip lines. The fill distribution uses manifolds connected to the barrel at one end. It's made of half inches CPPC connectors such as teeth and elbows and 5 8 inch garden hose cut to length to match the row spacing of the plant. The manifold is connected to 5 inch soaker lines. The 
soccer lines were laid to follow one foot row spacing. The two feet middle row is walking area where the soccer hose is coiled at the end. This end area is designed for plants that will be planted without distinct plant rows. Let's see constant pressure design using valve canister. Here is one without water barrel. The height of valve canister on the pole provides continuous and constant gravity water pressure of the system. Drip line uses 5-8 soaker hose connected directly to the main manifold. To this soaker line a shorter manifold connected to provide water for a wider two foot row spacing. For this part of plot planted for two feet by two feet plane space, spacing arrangement a one quarter inch drip line tap into a lateral hook directly to the main manifold. You can see here that the drip lines provide water to plant area only while the rest of soil surface stay dry. This gives advantage to the crop over the weed especially at early plant growth stage and indirect with suppression. Here another different example of this application where a canister has two outlets that irrigate multiple plots, three on the right and three on the left. Last but not least is a constant pressure design that uses multiple water barrels as relay stations for a multiple field distributions. Here the valve canister has three outlets connected to three water barrels. Each barrel supply constant low pressure to three different field distribution system independently. One for south section of garden. Second is for middle section. And the third is for the plastic cover garden. Any irrigation system can result in overwatering. The low flow gravity drip system included. Regardless of design you use, I must remind that including the rainfall, you must know how much water added to the plant. Remember that low pressure drip irrigation delivers water slowly and directly to the plant. It will not wet the entire land. That is also why it is very efficient. 30 gallon water provides equivalent of half inch of water to a 100 square foot garden if the water went the entire soil surface, such as where the drip lines row spacing of 9 inch or less. However, for wider row spacing, say 2 foot row spacing, then the 30 gallon provide equivalent of 1 inch or more of water because it wets only half or, la or less of the soil surface, only area adjacent to the plant. Therefore, if you irrigate twice a week or equivalent of 2 inches or more per week, then you may over irrigate your plant, which is counterproductive and water wasting. So, you must consider the wetting service in your calculation. I hope this video presentation inspires you to use to produce with less water. Start using low pressure drip irrigation for your garden and let us know how it helps you. Thank you.